Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Now you can see in this first patient, this first patient's mine. We've got a bit of a mixed bag today, mine and Taylor's in here. Um, but this first patient, very, very super sticky wax. Ooh. Really sticky this way. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't want to budge easily. The difficulty I always find with these is I always try and detach from the, the canal wall first of all. Yeah. And what I find then is when I've detached from the canal wall with this really super sticky and softer type wax, it just moves from side to side. It doesn't actually detach, does it? Uh, yeah, I find the same thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you always know as soon as you see this kind of super sticky, like, yeah, it, you're just not, oh, you know, yeah. how long is this going to take us? It is, it is. <laughs> and sometimes you can, you, you can pop a little bit of olive oil in there and that's yeah. going to get everything moving. Um, but sometimes the olive oil is more of a hindrance than a help because when, you've, when you actually pop the olive oil in, it just coats all like, the little cilia on the outside part of the ear and then yeah. it starts to blur the camera. So it can cause, so you've, you've got to be kind of selective with the ones you put the olive oil in with. Starting to move now, though. Yeah, just gonna say we're starting to get some movement already. You can see it just starting to peel that that kind of yeah dead skin layer away as well on the outside. It's getting that outside sort of edge. A forward momentum now, isn't it? When you're mm. holding on to it, it's just starting. To, everything's starting to come towards the camera, towards that lateral portion of the ear canal. Um, and with with these kind of. Um, uh, the, these plugs, I mean, I, I, I don't know, you'd probably do the same thing as well quite a lot, but just gen tend to try and hold the suction on there to just slowly draw it out. Yeah. But with these crumbly ones, when we hold the suction onto these little plugs, you just find that the pressure builds up yeah. and it tends to break a little bit. So yeah, it, it just starts right. taking it. Or what uh, you'll find is it takes almost like a perfect punch yeah. out, out of the wax and <laughs> yeah. it blocks the suction then. So you've got to go and try and flush that through or, or we've got little... Um, like tube clearers, basically little plastic things like a pipe cleaner, you can push through and it pushes all the debris that's sort of coated the inside of the, the tube out then, doesn't it? But it's coming away well here. We're just getting a little bit of a, a sort of a, a wiggle yeah. to this. And that's where the olive oil is going to come in handy then. I was going Massively. to help to slide it out a yeah. little bit easier. When you get that little bit of movement, it just starts to come away a little bit easier, doesn't it? But we're just getting... Um, just getting the Jobson horn behind this. Oh, almost crashed into the camera. <laughs> Nearly. Uh, almost crashed into the camera there. We've got to work really close to it to get a visual just beyond. It's getting a good little view in the, uh, the Jobson horn now. Yeah, been on, yeah. Been on, been, been, been on a few videos recently. You know what? St. Mark's Hook's come out a couple of times yeah, recently as well. Yeah. We don't normally see that one come out too often. Uh, but it's coming away really well. There we go. Look at that plug. That Ooh. was actually quite long. So no wonder that wasn't going to come out easily. It was yeah. going back and fair away. You see, I'm starting to fight it. There's a little bit of dead just skin does. just hanging on to the bottom of it down in there. There we go. Out that comes. Let's get behind it again. Scoop again. Oh, nice. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, it just tends to pull everything that's further back with it as well when, yeah. you, when you use these uh, jobs and horns. It's nice when uh, it does that, when it gets that yeah. sort of, that little bit of a pull, you can see all those deeper sections coming forward. Yeah. We talked, yeah, I think it was yesterday, about these ear canals that slope up, but now you can see that, that oh, really yeah, yeah. prominent slope yeah. up there that's going up towards the eardrum. Very similar story on this side as well. So this is still my patient, this is just the other ear canal. Um, so we're going to try and detach. Now this one... Oh, I was going to say, this one looks a little bit harder, first of all, but it's just going instantly, <laughs> it's just, instantly softer. Um, sticky, sticky, sticky. It is really, really sticky. You want to hate Dougie there, are you? <laughs> <laughs> sticky, 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 stick, sticky, stick, stick. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's coming away now. Um, here we go. We could, you can tell we both got young children. Uh, if I think we've got Hey Dougie in the US. I hope you have. If uh, not, you're missing a treat. It's brilliant. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Roly is my favourite. Oh, everyone loves Roly. <laughs> Roly's amazing. Um, so it's coming away uh, really, really well. I just started to see you doing uh, the, 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 the uh, what do you call it? The... Almost like a similar movement to the jobs and horn with the suction tube then. Yes. So I can see you just starting to nip over the top. Just, just to pull down yeah, a little bit, just, yeah. just to see if you can almost, sometimes you'll just be lucky enough and catch and you'll get that roll like forward. The suction will help it to, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, guys, don't forget, if you do enjoy these videos, you can always like, heart, share, subscribe, and follow the channel. That would be awesome. Um, and, if you, <laughs> <laughs> and if you have any wax problems yourself, you can always give us a ring. Uh, our... 
A uh, link to our website is in the bio. It's got our address on there, contact details as well. So if you are suffering with EWAX, you can come along and see me and the lovely Mr. Taylor Green, and we'll get you sorted out from there then. So uh, nice big plug. That actually came out re a lot better than I thought it would. Now, we yeah. talked in a video the other day about <laughs> these bits you have to clear up the edges. Sometimes they can be a bit of a pain. You could see that lift, that long strip of dry skin going further back, uh, but it actually came away really well. Yeah. It, the uh, and we've mentioned it on previous videos as well. Yeah. But those those little those little thin bits of uh, dead skin as they start to lift and peel away off the ear canal, if it's still quite dry, yeah. they, they tend to clarinet and make a lot of yeah. uh, like whistling and uh, I it, it you just can't be in the ear when that's happening. No. You need to come straight back yeah. out. So that's a lot of the reasons why we tend to leave these little tiny thin layers of skin yeah, there. Yeah, not the easiest to get. It was about two and a half centimeters, one inch as well. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about it. I just completely sorry, talked over the top of that. Right. So this is your patient here. Yeah, this is my patient here. Um, very dark wax, you can see we've got here. Uh, so we've got the standard size Zollner tube. Now, I'm I'm trying a very similar method to Reese here. Uh, so we're starting from the, the first contact of wax. The first little bit of wax is right near the entrance. All I'm trying to do here is, is loosen and start peeling this away. Now this is actually quite a quite a dry piece of wax. You can see nothing is really suctioning into the tube at the moment. No. So it's quite a quite a solid plug in this one. Now, or, luckily already we've just managed to loosen most of this plug away. And I think this is all going to come out in one yeah, go that here. Looks, now that's, that looks promising, doesn't it? Well, yeah, quite a, quite, quite a big... You can see all that hair mixed in amongst yeah. it as well. These are just loose hairs that... You know, the, some patients tend to trim the hair in their ears. Uh, so yeah, you can, you can kind of see, this is obviously like an older um, piece of wax that was obviously, you know, where we may have gone in there yeah. previously with a, a cotton bud, uh, quite possibly. Yeah. Uh, but we've almost got like this casing now, like a like wax a shell of donut. <laughs> a, a wax donut. Yeah. <laughs> you always ruin the like, really nice food to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the nice food. <laughs> To be fair, there's no horrible food anyway. No, there's I'll, not I'll, no I'll, I'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we're um, sticking with the standard size on the tube here. Now the patient's already hearing a lot better. Um, the patient actually thought I'd finished at this point, taking that big plug out. But um, this obviously is a, a, a little bit more stuck to the ear canal you know. here now, where we've got, like I said, that ring that's just holding on. So we're very. I'm moving quite slowly here because I don't want to. I think we've just broken that apart. I was I just going to say, I don't think we want to, we want to try and stop it. It was close though, because you tried to hold it, I could see you were holding it a little bit more, yeah. sort of, just to really gently pull it out, because you want to try and get that whole ring out as, as one if you can, yeah. but it's just too stuck, isn't it? You no, can see. It's quite it. thick, it's surprising how much wax that is actually, when you look at it. Yeah, it, it, as you said, it doesn't look like much, but then as soon as you start taking it and you actually see what's come yeah. up, you're like, oh, actually, yeah, there's was, was quite a bit left. Look at the thickness of it as it comes out now. It, I mean, it just looks like a very shallow ring. Oh, I think that that looks like it came away nicely there. Oh, yeah, there we I go. Think yeah, you got yeah, the entire see. thing there, didn't you? Yeah, there we are. Nice. Oh. Wax donut. There we are. Look, yeah, perfect, per perfect analogy. Oh, there's a little bit left actually. Oh, we're still going. Okay. <laughs> thought that was finished. I thought that would come away in one, but obviously, yeah, there was a little piece missing. I suppose at the bottom was. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Very gently. Again, we don't want to leave any, if if any, little pieces no. left in there. No. See a little bit of dead skin holding yeah. on there, and that's where this wax was holding in place. So we're just clearing up that tiny little bit there now, and there we go. A um, okay. little bit of irritation there, but I just, I just personally think that is to do with where this wax has been in there for yeah. so long. You know, there's a lot of, um, lot of, uh, well, just air hasn't been able to get no. into the ear. No, that's right, that's right. It, so, just, it does get a little bit irritated, but you think of that migration process with the skin's trying to get out and trying to yeah. always migrate out the ear canal, and with that, that hard layer there, it's going to be holding on to it, isn't it? So, so we go, was two, that an inch? Two, two, two and a half centimetres an inch. Yeah, <laughs> another one, yeah. I think it's close. might get all three of them. No, will be bang on an inch. Um, so this is back to recent back patient to you now. Again now. Um, so this is a very... I, I seem to have had lots of really kind of sticky waxes through recently. I think a lot of this is patients are um, trying to treat their wax a little bit more often at home. I think this is what's happening at the moment. And then when that's not really working, they're coming in to see us. But by the time they get to see us, they've used... Uh, lots and lots of different drops. Now the consistency of this wax is very granular. We, we talk about this sort of um, uh, 
like a cookie dough kind of mixture. It's this really sort of granular mixture. Uh, and it's it's not an easy one to come away because there's no real substance to the wax. There's no, it's not solid. It's mm. all this really thick kind of uh, just, mushy emulsion really. Yeah, you can see it all just slowly slurping up into the tube. Uh, yeah, they, they're quite, quite tricky removers yeah. these. And they, they really hold on to the canal wall. So normally you can sort of peel, but in this case you'd have to do a very slow, gentle peel up and then break that piece away and then slowly peel up again. So it, 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 it's always a difficult one to do this one. You can see I'm just hovering yeah. over some of these bits just to get rid of the looser sections here at the front. Oh, I can tell how sticky it is. That's yeah. just not coming away at all. It just does not want to budge, does it? No. I mean, you could put some olive oil in here and, you know, it, it might help, but I think you'd need to loosen it first. You'd need to get create those little gaps. Yeah. Like that one there, where you got kind yeah. of underneath so that the oil can penetrate under it. Um, you could kind of do it then, I suppose. But, oh, I did a gap at the top now as well. Yeah. So I think where we lifted it, it just dropped the top back a little bit. Let's see if we can get out of it. to the side. I know, I'm just... Yeah, <laughs> <I'm going over. laughs> clash heads. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just coming away now from the set, oh, it's nearly, I think we might get this. Yeah, I was gonna say the ear canal almost looks like it's narrowing at the bottom there yeah. slightly. And that could be what's holding this in place. Yeah, yeah especially when it's sticky and you've got that, yeah. that tapers down quite quickly. Um, it can really kind of hang on to those canal walls, can it? And this is my first time seeing this video as well. So I, I, I don't really see any of Reese's videos. So. When we're together, it's always the first time I'm seeing it, so I'm in the same position as you guys. There we are. Yeah, a bit of, oil, bit of oil in there. Oh, I yeah. think it needed it. it. It was really, really stuck, wasn't it? And look at the difference now this will make when you see the movement. Now, because you've freed it up, you're getting the oil and it's penetrating further in. But once you've done that, then you've got this really kind of good movement starting yeah. with this uh, this plug. I'm thinking, you know, if we can grab this section to, to their left, our right, and pull across, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can see it slowly yeah. drawing forwards, yeah. I think a little bit of a wiggle now, I think it's yeah, still come out. I think so. I think as soon as you get that front section detached there, I think we're going to be on the winner. Oh, I haven't said that, mind. <laughs> it is wedged, isn't it? I can just imagine a piece of wax at the back and it going, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's mine, you're not letting it go. <laughs> it's going to it on to it really, really well. It's it just... Oh... There we go. Yeah, that's is. what we were looking for. That's that last little bit to tell. My goodness me, we had to fight that one oh, too, so nail to get that out. Instant relief yeah. as soon as you see it just pop out. The worst know. thing, I think, it, what's, what's <clears> worse <throat> to see that wax is when you take that first piece away and see another load sitting oh, behind you. That's yeah. always worse. Uh, but yeah, that, that looks a lot better now. Um, so yeah, quite quite a small, only a tiny little chunk, so probably yeah. just, just uh, over, well, just under a centimetre, I suppose yeah, that is. Half an inch, just under yeah. half an inch, yeah. Now, well guys, thank you very much for watching our video today. As always, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another, and we shall see you again real soon. Bye everyone. Bye.